Good morning and uh, welcome here this morning to uh, to Chini Manor. Uh, good morning. I'm just going to give the uh, lens a wipe again. Hope that's a little bit better. Uh, seems to get a little bit beamed up or probably my thumbs. Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome. Hopefully um, you're well this morning. I don't know if you've been out for a haircut. Uh, you will see that I haven't. Um, I, I'm not sure any of the pubs around here are actually open at six o'clock um, when Boris said that we could go to the pubs from, which seems a bit bizarre. Um, but uh, I've been out today and I've seen the queues outside the, uh, the, the barbers. I think people are keen to go and get their haircuts and uh, start of uh, uh, some new openings, uh, another gradual easing of the lockdown. Uh, tomorrow there will be services at St Margaret's at 9.30, at Stanton at 9.30 and at South Marston at 11 o'clock. There will be limitations on how many people can come in. Um, I would really, really strongly advise you not to get there too early and thinking, oh, we'll be the rush um, and not to get there too late. It's a lovely balance, isn't there? Um, but things will be different. You'll be directed where to sit rather than I'm afraid you won't be kind of necessarily able to choose where you sit because it's going to be controlling the kind of ins and outs. It's all kind of mitigating factors. I have to say it will not be um, with, you know, we've not, nowhere is able to eliminate all risk. Um, but we have, what the place, things that people have put into place, things we're putting into place will limit and um, will uh, reduce the risk quite vastly. We are adhering to two metres distance uh, between people where we, you know, where possible. Please do feel free to wear a mask if you so wish. Also do feel free to not feel you have to come. Um, we will not, we're not wanting to dissuade anyone from coming, but um, if you are nervous, if you're anxious about coming, don't, don't worry. There will be a service on Facebook at 10 o'clock that will get put onto YouTube. So if you watch that on YouTube as well, that will be there. Um, so please do not do not feel that we're, we're doing, doing we're just going straight back into normal that you have to come along. Please also, also do feel rest assured that um, I've tried to avoid using the word virtually over the last few weeks after I kind of um, heard someone talking about it. This is not virtual. This is us joining together as God's people. This is coming together using the wonders of modern technology, using the wonders of the, of the things that we have set before us to be able to join together to worship our God. This is our community coming together. So the one is not greater than the other. And as, as um, I was going to say I said the other day, but if you watch it on the DVD, if, sorry, if you watch it on the DVD, if you watch it tomorrow, um, it's it's not about the buildings. It's about the heart and it's all about Jesus. So please um, do not feel, do not let anxiety overtake you and do feel free just to, to log into Facebook and to uh, to watch it from there. But tomorrow, if you are, there will be services. Today, as has been our custom over the last few weeks, uh, months even, sorry, we are going to be using the more traditional language of the Book of Common Prayer for morning worship today. And I will begin the service using the second um, set of paragraphs. What's the second paragraph? Um, which we'll say together. But let's have a moment of quiet as we recognise that we are together in Almighty God's presence. Beloved, we are come together in the presence of Almighty God and of the whole company of heaven to offer unto him through our Lord Jesus Christ our worship and praise and thanksgiving to make confession of our sins, to pray as well for others as for ourselves, 
that we may know more truly the greatness of God's love and show forth in our lives the fruits of his grace, and to ask on behalf of all such things as their well-being doth require. Wherefore, let us sit or kneel, wherever we may be, in silence, and remember God's presence with us now. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders, Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind. In Christ Jesus you are Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Using the second paragraph. Grant we beseech thee, merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee in a, with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared a dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways and to whom I swore in my wrath, they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I'm going to use the words of Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord, sorry, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. One day telleth another, and one night certifieth another. There is neither speech nor language, but their voices are heard among them. Their sound is gone into all lands, and all their and their words into the ends of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun which cometh forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a giant to run his course. 
it goeth forth from the uttermost part of the heaven, and runneth about unto the end of it again, and there is no, there is nothing hid from the heat from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is an undefiled law, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, and giveth wisdom unto the simple. The statutes of the law are right, and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, and giveth light unto the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, and endureth for ever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant taught, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can tell how oft he offendeth? O oh, cleanse thou me from my secret faults. Keep thy servant also from presumptuous sins, lest they get the dominion over me, so shall I be undefiled and innocent from the great offence. Let my words of my mouth and the meditation of the heart, my heart be always acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I'm going to use the Tadeum Tadeum Lordmas. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of the Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee, the goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee, the noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable true and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting son of the father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe thou that shall come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered, make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless their heritage, thine heritage. Govern them and lift them for up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever a world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. A reading from Luke's Gospel, chapter 17, beginning to read at verse 11. Luke 17, verse 11. And it came to pass, Jesus went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there, he, there, met him, uh, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood uh, afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. 
And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory uh, that there are not found that return to give glory to God, save the stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. going to do something slightly different now if you're using the um, app or if you're using the uh, if you're if you're online using this uh, if you just press the uh, little link which says jubilate deo we're going to use these words to praise our god i'll be joyful in the lord all ye lands Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I just need to click on the little cross in the top right hand corner if you're online. It should take you back to our service. And we come to the Creed using the words of the Apostles' Creed. Let's say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O God, because there is none other that fighteth for us. 
but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear us, and grant that we, to whom thou hast given a hearty desire to pray, may by thy mighty aid be defended and comforted in all dangers and adversities. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Collect for peace. O God, who art the author of peace and the lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all sorts of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant us this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. going to use um, the prayers that are set out for us, um, or sorry, the prayers that have been created and written, especially for this outbreak. There is a sense of, uh, for some, there is a sense of joy today, you might say. There is a sense that things are returning to uh, normal. There is a sense that we are through this. Where in actual fact, we're not. <laughs> in actual fact, there are still many people suffering from this virus day by day. There are many people still suffering the consequences of this virus. There are many people that uh, have lost loved ones. Tens of thousands of people at the very least. There are many people that have lost loved ones, maybe not through COVID, but actually during this time and have not been able to grieve and mourn in a way that they would have wished. There is still pain and there is still suffering and there is still anxiety and there is still worry and there is still isolation. It is important for us to continue to pray. It's important for us to stay alert, to stay alert of um, each other's well-being and stay alert for our neighbours. So let us pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. In this time of uncertainty and distress, sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need, as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, Give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick, and to assure the isolated of our love and your love. For your name's sake. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Merciful God, we entrust into your care, into your tender care, those who are ill or in pain, whatever the cause may be. Knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them. Comfort and heal them this day, dear Father. Restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This weekend we recall, uh, we celebrate the anniversary of the founding of the NHS and we continue to give thanks for, for it. We are blessed in this country by those, but the NHS is not um, is not just an organization, it is the people that make it what it is. It is the love, the compassion, the knowledge, the understanding, the skills, the dedication, all those things and as the people that make it. So gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick. And your wisdom to those searching for treatments and cures. Strengthen them with your spirit, that through their work, many, many people, whatever they may be suffering from and living with, that many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, help us to trust you. Help us to know that you are with us. Help us to believe that nothing can separate us from your love revealed in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are not people of fear, we are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving, wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Use the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. I hope you have a great day. I hope you stay dry. Uh, for those of you getting your hair cut today, congratulations. Uh, for those of you that might be doing something else for the first time, it could be, I can't remember all the rules, there are so many. Uh, but it could be that you're going to meet people, perhaps going back to someone's home for the first time. Um, please do enjoy that time. Uh, if you're going to the model uh, model village in Bolton on the Water, uh, really do enjoy it. Uh, apparently, it's going to apparently have lots of phone calls. They were on the radio this morning. Um, so please, uh, and if you are staying at home, um, probably will be to be perfectly honest. If you're staying at home, please do stay dry and stay safe. And um, I look forward to us being together again, whether that's online, digitally, or whether that is uh, in person. Um, but I do look forward to that day when we are together and that we can sing and we can sit where we want and we can uh, do all those things that we perhaps have taken for granted before, but we'll now do with eager and we would like now to do with in eager anticipation. Have a great day and God bless you.